This is how it's done boys, this is how it's done, this uh, we are coming back, we're back, just like John Wick, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> Those are empanadas. Don't fall for it, boys. That's how they trap you. Help. Coming! Hey, shoddy. <laughs> Be for real. You didn't want your boy when I was down. Now I got out the mud, made out the trenches, and now you want to mess with me. Look at me now. I glue up. What you talking about? <laughs> I know a real man who's broke and struggling and he deserves more. I know a fake man who got money and is living life. I know good girls who have become a side chick with broken hearts and deserve better. Mm. I know hoes that got wifed. I know a man who served serious time in the jail and never spoke a word on his friends and they got forgotten. Mm. I know snitches that are still rated. By the way, you don't have to be street to be real. Facts. I know legit people that are realer than trappers and gangbangers. Facts. I've seen I've seen the fake get praised and the real get slept on. Facts. There's no love, no respect, and no morals anymore. The game has changed. The game has changed. That's the Bible. What wrote that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a real. Bro. At the end of the day, yeah, life it, it is what it is. It is a roller coaster of emotions and all that. And if you have the drive, if you have that thing in you, you have to learn how to navigate. And it's gonna happen through failure and mistakes. And that's it. Just. Toughen up. Girls, make sure your vibrator and your taser are different colors. Hey! Ew! You Melinda from Tinder? Do a 360 for me real quick. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. If you want to see if you're a brave person, what they call the four o'clock in the morning courage, wait when things go completely to pieces, when things are the worst, when your very best deal falls apart and your rent is late and you're tired and you're <coughs> sick and everybody is mad at you and your car doesn't work, then it's the person that picks themselves up and says nothing is going to stop me. You know, the best quality in the world that you can develop, and I give it to you because I made it my life's habit to develop this quality. I hope I've got it, but I don't know for sure. But the quality is to develop the quality of being unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Develop the quality of being unstoppable. Say in yourself that no matter what life throws at me, it'll never stop me. No matter how rough it gets, I will never quit. And nothing will ever stop me. I mean, Brian Tracy here is okay. I know that uh, for a lot of people, they might seem like platitudes, but life is just that simple in a lot of ways so it's about action it's not about plans and uh, being complicated with just simple pure unrelentless action how you doing give me a hug okay a hug. Up, don't pick oh. me up though no 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 okay okay my bad, my bad. Look, 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 I'm not even, look look i'm gonna be fucking honest i'm not even worthy <laughs> Yeah. What do you like about him? Everything. He's really? really polite. He's honestly, he's he's like the realest person I've ever met. Even though he's doing all this shit, falls, like nigga. we're drunk. That doesn't make sense. But like, honestly, <laughs> real shit, like, he really cares for me and he's really a good person. On well, this poor guy gets eaten like a chicken wing every single night. Like, it, I look at him and it's like, man, you really like being pegged, isn't it? Like, you like to almost be murdered every single night. Why are you popping bottles? What you celebrating for? What you going out this weekend for? You ain't completed nothing this week. You ain't made no money this week. You ain't completed no tasks. You ain't, ain't knocked off no goals. You outside. You going to kick it with your friends. You going to get drunk. Sit your ass in the house. You ain't did nothing. Nothing to celebrate. What the hell is we celebrating you outside for? What you outside? Oh, we got to live life though. Life isn't promised. What the fuck? You going to say that for how many years? How many, how many, how many years you going to say that? You motherfucker, 30 years old. You still saying the same shit. Life ain't promised. 100% agree. You gotta have something to show for it. Don't just go out there pissing away your uh, life savings or whatever just to have some fun or whatever. It's like all these things just come and go, especially like 
and, and you're not gonna be getting a lot of satisfaction just because you spend a bunch of money uh, on weekends. Like, that, that, that's not how it happens. I have banana peel on the ground. I'm gonna see if it's really slippery like it is in the cartoons. <laughs> How old are you? 31. And your, your ex-husband did what? He's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. And how long ago were you married? Up until three years ago. Okay, great. Why'd y'all divorce? My husband got sick with cancer and that changed him and it changed the dynamics of our marriage. What? Is he in remission? Yes, he is. And who filed for divorce? I did. Why? He became mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive. So for everybody at home, she was 18, married to a 53 year old. And he took care of you just fine up until he got sick. Correct. And then when he was fighting for his life, you became a snowflake. Did you have to work when you were married? No, but I no, chose you didn't have to. to. No, no, no. You chose, but you didn't pay no real bills. You didn't have no skills. Knock it out. I'm gonna be honest, ma'am. This is a whole mess. Better go back to your husband. That's all you got. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 180. That's a huge bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Five foot four and one eighty, honey. You're built like a fridge. Goodbye. I don't have a boyfriend, and I don't want it. And if I want one, I could have four or five of them if I want. But I don't want to associate with nobody. I know she's saying that for fun, but I, I don't know. As long as she's not dying alone and she has some. Uh, Grandchildren, I think she's fine. <laughs> oh, you Price idiot. is wrong, bitch. How y'all niggas out here buying these bitches' colors and all that? Y'all just push your grandma to the back. My grandma is ah, my grandma house 1.6 or some shit like that. 1.7. I'm pushing up, and motherfuckers, she called me every day after I bought that house. Thank you, I love you so much. It made my heart get warm. Exactly, 100%. How many men are out here going to expensive dates and doing all this stuff, right? And just being clowns. Maybe someone is gonna love them or hug them while their mothers and grandmothers and aunts or whatever are just suffering and they could use some help, any type of help, financially, physically, emotionally, and you are just neglecting your own family for your own uh, pleasure. Uh, it's cringe. Just knock it off, bro. Hey everyone, oh I wanted to God. just give a little bit of a life update on yeah. kind of what's going on with me. What the now, fuck is my that? Family I'm being evicted from my house now. Yeah, immediately, but what we'll, we'll be allow you to do is get an overnight bag. All right, so right. We'll, we'll go inside so you can get some of your things. I have to leave with you? No, you can, you can drive away. No, 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 no. What I'm asking you is I have to leave right now. Correct. Yep. So you can go inside, gather up some of your things. We allow you that courtesy. And do you have your car here? I do. I do. And then on your own accord, you can leave here, okay? So you're going to leave and I can leave after you leave? I just have to leave. We're going to leave. No, we're going to leave with you. We're going to leave together. Okay. You definitely have to leave today, okay? Got gotcha. you. So what we'll do now, go inside. Mm -hmm. get some of your things. You need this back? What's that? This. Nope, that's for you. This is me. Yep. This is me. That's officer and that's officer. Can I see your eyes, please? Is that okay? All right. My wife filed a false abuse claim against me in order to initiate a divorce, in order to get an advantage over the property that we have. Out of nowhere, she just filed a false abuse claim against me and had me evicted from the house. Women in particular who do this to men are criminals. Yes. They are dangerous. They yes. are criminals. Yes. My understanding now is that this is a strategy that many women will employ. Women that do that belong six feet underground. That's where I'm at. And I'm not going to change my position because it is what it is.